Welcome back everybody, you've got the professor and we're gonna show you how to go from this to this. So, gotta love the OC GoStream lack of a manual. So, very fun to try to figure out stuff basically just by pushing buttons. So, on our input one, I have my Panasonic GH4, so that's going into HDMI one. And on channel or input four, I have the direct output of the laptop. So I'm going to show you how to get to the proper settings, what I'm using anyhow, to get to a nice green screen. So once again, total lack of a manual for this beast. So the first thing you do is you go to your switcher tab. So make sure you're in the right spot. Then we got to scroll down and we're going to select not the Luma key, so you're going to make sure that's off. So purple is on, white is off. So we're going to go to the Luma key, turn that on. So now the Luma key should have turned itself back off. There we go. And like I said, the fill source. So what's going to fill the source once we take the green out? So that'll be your primary footage. So in this case, it's my input one coming directly from the camera. So that's me sitting in front of the green screen. So we leave that on input one. We're not using mask and we're not using resize. So let's make sure both of those are white or off. So once again, no mask and no resize. But now when we get down to control, we need to take a sample of our green screen. So we make sure this is clicked. So now it's purple. We can move our little box around so we get a nice sample. A little different than the uh, Blackmagic ATEM Mini and the Mini Pro. You could actually size this square to get a bigger sample of the entire area. So once it's sampled, you'll see that we've got the correct color, color of the backdrop that we're using. And you have to remember to turn that off. So you turn that back off once it's got your sample. Then the chroma key adjustments. So now we need the proper levels for the foreground. So that's me sitting in front of the green screen. The background, so that's the image that's going to be superimposed or chroma keyed onto the screen. And then you have a control to kind of adjust a little bit of the edges to make sure that everything's good. So if you want to try out the numbers that I'm using, I'm using 43 for the foreground, 53 for the background, and all the way up to 78 for the feathering. So the key edge feathering. So now when I go back to my chair, so I do not have the laptop right in front of me, I have to jump forward a couple feet. So then we need to go to the buttons over the cut and auto. So if we click on the on air, that activates the chroma key. So when you slide down, you can see it's going to superimpose that image. But now we have to make sure that we have the key button selected also. And we do the on air. Make sure just one of the on airs is on. So there are two on airs. We want to make sure the left, so the left on air is red over the key, and the key is white. So the key is white, so the key is engaged. And then you can slide back and forth, and there's your key. So once again, the settings that I was using was my input fill source is my camera one, and then for the background, I'm using my stills. So my stills is the button that I used for the backdrop. So what the green is going to key into there. And then as far as the numbers I was using was 43 for the front, 53 for the back, and then 78 for the feathering or little edge control. So once again, I hope this helped you guys. Uh, it took me a while to figure this out. Uh, not a lot of information on YouTube. So hopefully it helped you guys. So please click like and subscribe. I'll be bringing more of these videos on how to work with the OC GoStream switcher along with the Blackmagic A10 Mini Pro and a host of other cameras and equipment. Thanks. Have a great day.